What is the distance between point A on the coordinate plane and each of the points B, C, and D? So here, our job is to find the distance between point A and each of the points on this coordinate plane. So let's just start with the distance between A and B. Point A has coordinates 3, negative 2, and point B has coordinates 3, 6. Take a look at those x coordinates. They're the same. That means A and B line up vertically. So we could just count the distance. A is 1, 2 units from the x axis, and B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units from the x axis. 2 plus 6 gives us a distance of 8 units. Cool. But you know, there's a rule that we can use to help us find this distance. So let's take a look. If we have two points, and they have the same coordinate, and the other coordinates are opposite signs, like we have here, then to find the distance between those two points, all we need to do is take the absolute values of those other coordinates and find the sum. So here we take the absolute value of 6 plus the absolute value of negative 2. And we get 6 plus 2, or 8 units, the distance we just counted. So A and B are 8 units apart on the coordinate plane. Cool. Now how about the distance between A and C? Well again, A has a coordinates 3, negative 2. And C has coordinates negative 7, negative 2. Hey, those Y coordinates are the same. Let's see if that new trick will work. But remember, we have to have opposite signs for the other coordinates. Well, here we have a positive 3, and here we have a negative 7. Our trick will work. So to find the distance between these two points, we can take the absolute value of 3 plus the absolute value of negative 7. And we get 3 plus 7, or a distance of 10 units. So points A and C are 10 units apart from one another on the coordinate plane. OK, last one. The distance between A and D. Well, let's see if that trick will work. A has coordinates 3, negative 2. And D has coordinates 3, negative 6. We have the same x coordinate. We're off to a good start. But how about those y coordinates? Negative 2 and negative 6. Uh-oh, those are the same sign, not opposite signs. So our trick won't work. But A and D do line up vertically, so we could count this distance. We have a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4 units. But could we come up with another rule that would help us find this distance without counting? Let's see. Well, before we were using those other coordinates. So let's use that. And we were using absolute values. So let's take the absolute value of each of them. The absolute value of negative 6 and the absolute value of negative 2. That leaves us with 6 and 2. Well, if we take 6 minus 2, we get 4, the distance we just counted. So if we were to find this difference, then we would find the distance between those points. And we have just found another rule to help us. If you have two points, and one coordinate is the same, and the other coordinates are the same sign, you can find the distance between those two points by taking the difference between the absolute values of those other coordinates. And now we have that the distance between A and D is four units. We have found the distance between A and each of the other points. And we've learned some new tricks along the way.